Hello and welcome to the weather update. It is the 1st of November. Yeah, I'm tired because I went to New Jersey today. I had to get away from Long Island because uh, and I was reminded why you'll see in the two weather videos coming up shortly after uh, I'm done with this one. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, a nice day. We had a few scattered clouds around that popped up, I guess, around midday. But other than that, it was a mostly sunny day. A very nice day out there. Uh, we do have some serious streaming in ahead of the next storm system. Uh, and just to look, show, give you a look at what things are like in Jersey. There was some fall color out there, though. It still just didn't seem all that brilliant either. They weren't at peak or some of the leaves had been blown away by the storms. Uh, but uh, you can see uh, there's definitely some color out there. Some color. Um but not really, uh, not really peak color yet. Not, not really quite peak. Uh, but it's getting there, maybe. You know, so I'll have to see. Maybe give it another couple more days. I don't know. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, really more than more than a couple of days, probably. The leaves are just really late this year because it's just been such a mild October, and that's what we're going to get to now is the climate statistics here. And uh, here you go. Actually, they're going to make it nice and easy for us because. They've uh, created a, a a graphic. Newark had the warmest October on record. So this is, they were 6.9 degrees above normal at Newark. Unsurprisingly, New Jersey is the fastest warming state. Not surprising. Uh, their uh, their, de their uh, departure from normal in temperature, 6.9 and 1.86 above for precipitation. Ice slip. Uh, number two, second warmest October on record at Islip. Uh, average temperature 61.2. That's 5.5 degrees above normal. LaGuardia 64.7. 5.1 degrees above normal. Uh, and that is the number three warmest. Bridgeport in at number three as well. Uh, and JFK in at number three. Uh, 5.8 degrees above normal. And Central Park sixth warmest october on record uh but yeah very uh very a uh, warm month for sure and uh precipitation above normal even though we had that really dry stretch from those back-to-back -back storms really did it in um and uh we'll go over uh, the the more of those monthly weather summaries tomorrow i am a little tired again i do apologize but again when you take a long hike in the woods it does make you tired uh, but let's take a look at our current conditions. Temperatures are dropping. They have dropped into the 40s, and West Hampton is down to 36. Uh, let's see if it's radiating in the Pine Barrens west of Tom's River. 41, 39, 38 at Lakehurst. So they're seeing some radiational cooling as well. We've got the low dew points in place, dew points in the 30s. Uh, let's go, and I'm sure the lows are going to be in the 30s in the Pine Barrens tonight, 40s for most areas, and probably around 50 in the city. Uh, but let's take a look at what the high temperature was today. Um, and you'll see we got up into this low 60s, so still a little bit above normal. Uh, 61 at uh, Islip, 63 at West Hampton, 58 in Central Park, 63 at LaGuardia. Let's see New Jersey, because it felt a little warm there too. 61 in the Pine Barrens west of Toms, over on Toms River proper, 62. So, yeah, warm day, but you can see we have those frost advisories now creeping in from the west as we start dealing with the colder air coming our way. Uh, and uh, let's now go to the latest on Wanda. We have two other areas to watch, but let's just focus on Wanda right now. Um, maximum stain winds are 45 miles an hour. Minimum sun suppression, 196 millibars. It's moving east-northeast once again at 7, and this again is the path. I'm not going to go into too much detail right now. It's just out over the ocean and not bothering you one, but it is unusual to see for sure. Uh, so let's go look at what we have coming our way. Uh, and uh, we are going to move this to the eastern U.S. view. Yeah, we'll go to the eastern U.S. view. So we have a little secondary cold front coming through. Could bring a slight chance of some light rain tomorrow. Probably won't amount to much. Then colder air comes back in on Wednesday and is with us. Thursday, and then we, we we watch this storm right now. It looks like it's going to stay offshore. The first one does. Here's the second one. That could come close, and that's the one we have to watch for later in the weekend. Um, but like I said, I'll get into that tomorrow. Uh, 
we'll get into a lot, a lot of it more tomorrow. I'm going to talk just again, you know, tired. Uh, so let's go look at the HRRR at the zero is the H triple R. And we'll look at these precipitation chances. It's just very, see, it's just some light rain in the afternoon. Um, it'd be very, very light. Um, it probably won't even amount to much. If we look at the total accumulated precip, uh, you're going to be hard pressed to get more than uh, 0.05 inches. So it really won't be all that much. It's just with a secondary cold front that's going to come through. And it should be done by four or five o'clock. Um, let's go to the temperatures. Which we'll use the H triple R for. Uh, so tonight, obviously, going to be a cool night. Though we have that cloud cover, it's probably going to put a lid on the radiational cooling. Uh, but I still think the Pine Barrens again—they're already in the 30s. Tomorrow we're going to be in the mid 50s. Cloud cover is going to keep the temperatures cooler. And then for Wednesday, colder air comes in, and I mean we're going to struggle to reach the low 50s on Wednesday. So it's going to be a nice cold day on Wednesday, and then it's going to be cool right beyond that as well. Um, Let's go look at the sky cover. I'm going to just, just use the RGM for this. Um, so we'll have the clouds around tomorrow, obviously, with that secondary wave. That moves along. Uh, and then we have a nice, mostly sunny day for Wednesday. And then Thursday, we may be dealing with some of these high clouds from the system to the south. Friday, it looks like we get rid of them and we'll have more sunshine again. Uh, but all in all, not a bad pattern. Uh, at least no big storms until we will get to the weekend. So we have a break. So get out there and enjoy it. And I'm going to get some rest. So thanks for watching and take care.